Hello my beautiful friends and welcome back to our channel and today's video on the balance and craving of stability and variety in our lives. I feel this is a really important topic to bring to our attention because I'm finding there are lots of narratives in our lives about our wanting for stability and wanting for variety. And when we misunderstand these wants or even needs, if you will, it can cause us to make poor decisions for ourselves, for our overall picture. I'm hearing a lot people describe themselves as, for example, people who just don't like change or people who just get bored easily and want to change things all the time. But what I believe the truth is here is that both stability and variety, certainty and uncertainty, our core human desires. On one hand, we want our world to be predictable so it's safe. And on the other hand, we want our world to be unpredictable so that we can dream of possibility and dream of something different. Feel those other ends of the emotional spectrum like excitement or fear. I certainly do a lot of coaching on the malfunctions that come out in our behaviors and our emotions from a place of wanting certainty and trying to create certainty in our lives. It's usually because we think that our life will be better or different or only tolerable if we achieve this outcome that is in the future and it is technically uncertain. So we're craving that certainty. Now, funnily enough, along the same path, when those people, usually high achievers, reach that goal and they have that certainty, now the event has happened in the world. They go back again to craving uncertainty and that cycle continues. And nothing's going wrong here, but what I first want you to do is become aware of why you're doing what you're doing, why you're craving certainty and then uncertainty, stability and then variety, so that then you can make informed conscious decisions instead of being compelled by the subconscious wants and desires. Now here's how I want you to think about this. As a human being, we all have this balance of wanting stability and variety in the big picture of our lives. I think it's possible that for different individuals, we have different levels of stability and variety required to make us feel content and balanced or fulfilled. But my overall hunch is that we probably all want a very similar amount of each and they probably equally balance each other out. And the reason why some people crave more of one or the other at any moment and at different moments in their life is just because the two of them are out of balance. When we don't have enough stability in our lives, when we feel unstable, we want more stability, we crave for more stability. We don't have enough variety in our lives. We crave for more variety. I think in whatever physical, social world you have constructed, you will have a balance of stability and variety. Even for example, a free spirited traveler will want some stability in their rituals to get themselves to the plane on time and who they choose to travel with in terms of the safety that creates, what food they lean towards or avoid in terms of being able to predict how that affects their body. Maybe they'll decide to stay in one place for a longer period because that fulfills more of that stability in their life. I think for a lot of us, certainly in Australia, our whole upbringing was geared towards creating stability in our lives. And I think that was the narrative that we were fed by our parents, that we need to go to school, get higher education, get a good wage, buy a house and have a family and retire happy. <laughs> so I think built into our upbringing and built into a lot of the goals that are deeply entrenched in our lives, we have already created a great base of stability. So a lot of us will crave more variety. This will be a good moment to sit back and pause and think about where you are in this balance of stability and variety and where you're aiming towards in the future, what you're moving towards, more stability or more variety in general. I'd also like you to think about what you feel like you're craving right now, more stability or more variety. Now, here's why I think this is an important issue to bring to our attention. Our cravings towards stability or variety to increase or decrease either of these things can feel like very strong urges in our body because I think they are core needs, desires, wants, drivers of human behavior. And so when you're not consciously aware of those urges and where they're coming from, we can act impulsively. And that can lead us to make decisions to create more or less stability or more or less variety, and they can be to our detriment. So some examples of unconsciously moving towards more variety in your life that won't necessarily be serving most people's goals and actual wants in their lives would be in a good relationship, creating drama, stirring up problems, making fights, criticizing the other person, or even doing something that is a betrayal and sort of tests 
pushes the relationship. In your workplace, for example, you might push the bounds of your scope of practice, not in a healthy service giving way, but instead in more of a risky way, in a this is a bit cheeky way. You might start complaining a lot at your work or stirring up some gossip. You might throw your hands in the air despite your contract and say, I'm going on a holiday or take sick leave when you don't need it. Anything that potentially rebels against your contract and your obligations there or potentially puts that at risk or challenges its stability. If you are, for example, already traveling or on a holiday and you're feeling quite free spirited, but you don't feel like it's quite satisfying your variety cravings, you might do something risky, something that literally risks your life, something that risks your future and all of the other stabilities that you've built in your life so far. Other classic examples of seeking variety you might be gambling or getting so drunk that you lose control for example now with your need for stability or any craving any wanting for a desire for more stability in your life there are lots of choices and decisions you can make here that don't necessarily serve you in the big picture either for example if you try to fulfill that stability need by getting in a committed relationship you might rush into a committed relationship that doesn't actually serve you, it doesn't actually suit you, that's not actually full of love. You might similarly, you might similarly take a work contract that offers a good salary and a long term and these benefits and this and that so that you have that certainty in your life. However, it might be a job that ultimately you don't enjoy or leads to burnout or sacrifices other parts of your life that are actually very high priority for you. All for the sake of feeling that stability, that certainty in having that contract. People also can increase their sense of stability in their lives by, for example, getting a higher education degree. And another one, and another one, and another one. Because in our minds, that is increasing our stability by making us more employable or more acceptable. So what I'm trying to show you here are that these drives are valid and we all need to be aware of our desires to fulfill both of these sides and have them in balance. However, we can make very poor decisions along the way if we're not aware or questioning in what ways we can fulfill these desires. So my task for you today is, once you have become aware of your different needs for both stability and variety, I'd like you to think about where you are in terms of that balance right now and what you might like to do next with reasoning based on your values. I want you to think about fulfilling these needs and moving towards something in a way that promotes growth, connection, exploration, or a new experience instead of pointless drama or sabotaging amazing, beautiful, long-term stable things that you have built and earned and deserve to benefit from in your life. Finally, I want you to consider that you don't need to have this balance in each individual area of your life, but actually it works in totality. For example, if you have a lot of variation at work and you feel really tested and challenged at work, you might like for your home to be very stable and very reliable. Might be the other way around too. If you have a lot of variation and uncertainty in your relationship, you might not want as much in your career, for example. If you are bored or unstimulated in your career, you might want to try and explore more and be more vulnerable in your relationship. Increasing that risk in your relationship might be asking for what you want, asking for something new, sharing what your opinion is, asking questions in a different way, making dares, doing something differently, whatever. There's so many different ways within a stable container like a relationship or a career, etc., that you can build in more variety too. So it's not so black and white. Recognizing where you are in this balance and picking different contexts in your life, different amazing roles and experiences in your life. It's not just, I'm talking a lot about career and relationships here, but there's also your travel experiences, your spiritual experiences, your money or investing, building an outside business, a side hustle, your recreation, your social activity, your fun, silliness, enjoyment, play, pleasure. Consider all the different life areas. But I want you to consider that you move towards these desires in a way that is for feeling and not just creating unnecessary drama from this impulsive craving. It's normal to want both sides. I want you to know that. And if you're craving one or the other, it doesn't mean that anything's wrong. It just means that you need to sit back and readjust what you want to do next. I just want you to think really well. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know and I'll see you in my next one.